Hello and welcome to this tour of the HyperStack platform. HyperStack is the on-demand GPU as a service platform for Nexion, where you can easily deploy any workload in the cloud on the latest infrastructure and only pay for what you consume. Here we're looking at the HyperStack dashboard, which you will find once you log into the platform. Here you can check at a glance an overview of the virtual machines that you have created, their associated volumes, as well as your, as your balance overview. We're going to focus on the main options here to the left. We've got virtual machines. This is the list of VMs that you have created previously. All of these are now hibernated. But we can also inspect volumes, which we have previously created. Environments, which set up the configuration for each of the regions we're working on and the key pairs, which is where you define the SSH keys that you will use to access the platform. Let's go now over the flow of creating and deploying a new virtual machine. So once we tap on the button, the first thing we see is that we have a range of options to choose from. And here's there's a catalog of uh, latest and greatest uh, NVIDIA GPUs, such as A100s, H100s, L40s, RTX A4000, RTX A5000, RTX A6000, and the other variation. For this particular example, I'm going to focus on the A100 with PCIe and NVLink interconnect. Inside each of the node flavors, we can check the number of GPUs that we like to use. And we can easily inspect what are the, the possibilities. In this particular case, I have eight GPUs, but in other nodes, I have the options to choose uh, fewer GPUs. This is all updated for you according to availability, so you can just follow the UI and let you guide it towards creating your virtual machine. Moving on into our form, we can check the environment we're gonna run on. And you might notice that some particular nodes may or may not be available in a particular region and this is updated in real time according to stock availability in this case i'm going to go with canada and the next thing i'm going to do is picking up the operating system i'm going to go with ubuntu and make sure that i'm in the latest version with the cuda drivers as well next is the ssh key which we have previously configured and would allow us to uh, access the vm if you need to add your uh, SSH, you can do very easily through this uh, dialog. I'm going to also enable the public IP so that I can reach the VM easily. And that's it really to create a VM in a basic configuration and we can check all the major parameters down here as well as the cost that it's gonna have per hour. Remember, these are exclusive resources which are available only to your VM. Just to show you what are the full possibilities, we're going to expand uh, additional parameters and we're going to change some of those. Uh, you can see that we can change the name instead of taking a default or random name. And we can also add SSH access so that the port is open and enabled for uh, outside connections through the IP by using the designated SSH key. There's the option to add some extra script, but we don't need that for this particular example. And after we have considered these additional parameters, we can now deploy the VM. The VM is now active and ready to be used. Once you're done using your VM, you can just easily hibernate it to prevent uh, running costs. And this is a tour of the HyperStack platform. Uh, be sure to check out our rich documentation in case of any problem, or if some issue persists, don't hesitate to reach out to us. We'll be glad to help you. Wish you success in our platform. Thanks for watching.